Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this tidbit, we're going to be covering scopes in Laravel. To explain what a scope is, think of it as a predefined part of a query that we can call quickly and easily on any of our models. We can take these parts and chain them together with other scopes as well. There are two kinds of scopes that we will be talking about in this lesson, global scopes and local scopes. Let's dive in first by talking about global scopes. A global scope will be called on all queries for that given model. An example of this is Laravel's soft deletes. Every time a query is made on the model, Laravel is checking to see if the deleted at column is set to determine if it will return the record or not. For the purpose of this lesson, we'll be working on a blog type database and we'll be using a global scope or local scope on our model to return all the posts that are published and unpublished. In Laravel, we will need to either create a new scope class in its own file, or we could write it directly into the model class. If we take a look at PHP Artisan, you should see that we don't have any make scope command available. However, Laravel's documentation provides us with a nice boilerplate to get started. In Sublime Text, we'll create a new folder underneath our app directory. Let's name this scopes. And then within this directory, let's make a new file. Let's paste our boilerplate code inside of this and save it as isPublishedScope.php. We'll start off by changing the class name to isPublishedScope. And when we apply the filter, we want to make sure the check is for published and that it is set to true. Now, in order to call this scope, we're going to have to tell our model about it. So let's switch over to the model that we're going to be using, which is post.php. Every model fires a boot event, which we can use to register these scopes in. We'll create a public static boot. And within this function, we want to make sure that we call the parent boot method. And then finally, we can go ahead and we can start registering these scopes. We need to say static add global scope. And now we just have to refer to the class name. Well, we're going to be using app scopes and then is published scope. Now, before we save this, if we switch over to Tinker, we can run a query for all of the posts and you should see that it is returning unpublished and published posts. You can see right here, we have a I am not published yet and it is set to false. And we scroll up and you can see that we have a published set to true. If we save the file now and rerun the query, we should see only published posts being returned. And you can see that it's working perfectly fine here. However, if we try to query for a specific post that we know isn't published, we are going to run into an issue. So let's try and find the slug I am not published yet. And you can see that returns zero results. Even when we try to load it up using the ID field, zero results are still brought back. That's because of our global scope we have on our model. It's going to affect all of the queries that we run. Laravel will allow us to remove these global scopes while performing a query. For example, we can add without global scope, followed by the scope that we are removing. And once we do so, our where statement will return properly. You can see it is finding the post, even though it's not published. This isn't super awesome for developers, and that's why we also have local scope, which we'll talk about in just one second. The final thing on global scopes is if you don't want to create a file for each of your scopes, you can alter the boot event to include the scope through an anonymous function. In the end, it will look something like this. Now, switching over to local scopes, let's create two methods within our model. Our first method will be scope is published. It will accept a query parameter. And one thing to note that all local scopes must start with the word scope. Inside, we will append onto the query returning where published is equal to true. Let's copy the is published scope and let's paste it below. We will change the name to scope is not published. And let's also update our where statement, just so we have the two scopes here. 
Now, with everything saved, let's return to Tinker and run the query for all of the records. We should see that both published and unpublished posts are being returned. This is different than our global query already. We can also run the local scopes to say is published, and we want to get all of those records. You can see that it's returning only the ones with published is true, and we can also say is not published, and that will return the inverse for us. Now let's do one more just so we get a handle of everything. We'll make a new scope ordered, we'll pass in the query, and what we want to do is return the query ordered by, and let's use publish that and make it descending. Let's save everything, return to the console, and exit Tinker. We need to reload it so we grab the new classes. And what we can do is we can chain these scopes together. Let's say we want all the published posts and we want them ordered and let's just grab them all. You can see that we're returning the published at properly so everything's ordered and we're only returning the ones that are actually published. Now this might actually be a better global scope but we'll keep it local for now. The final thing I want to do is just clean up the published scopes here. We kind of have the same code in both. And what we can do is we can get away with just using one scope. We could say scope is published. In the second parameter, we'll pass a flag to tell our function whether or not we want the published posts or the unpublished posts. We'll make it optional so the default will be true, and we just have to return it into our query. We can remove the is not published, give everything a save, reload Tinker, and let's try it out. For instance, if I want to see all of the unpublished posts, I could say is published false, and then just grab them. And we should see here that published is set to false. If we just say is published, we'll get the published posts. And just like before, we can chain different scopes on, and we'll get the same results. And that brings this tidbit to an end. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two on scopes and you can use them in your next project. Thanks for watching.